Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Well, this morning, welcome again. And um, it's a cold morning in Celsius, is about maybe two degrees, Fahrenheit 37. But you know, it's very refreshing. Look at the water, how it's rippling nicely. The air is blowing so beautifully. Look at the ducks, they have, they have no, they're they're made to be in this kind of a weather and they look for their food and they sleep in the night under some trees they cuddle up put their their head in, under their wings and they sleep they are duck and this is how we um we have to think also that we have to adapt because this morning i let me chant these few things and get us to this state of being. We'll chant Om three times. Join with me. Breathe in. Om. Again, breathe in. Om. Again, once more. I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the intellect, I'm not the ego. I'm truth, consciousness and bliss, such a that. I'm all powerful, omnipotent. I'm all pervading, omnipresent. I know the past, present, for future, omniscient. I existed before creation as consciousness. For me, creation manifested. I entered into create, creation to give it life. I am the driver in this body. This body is made up of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and space. It is constantly changing. One day for sure, I will lose my body. I am not the mind, as the mind is a bundle of thoughts coming from the environment through the five senses, seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, and tasting. I react to the environment through my organs of action. Mouth, hands, legs, organs of reproduction, and organs of elimination. The sense organs and organs of actions are totally under my control as I navigate to rediscover that I am consciousness. I am not the intellect, the power of this passion and discrimination. The intellect is influenced and hijacked by my ego. My ego falsely identifies me as I am what I have. I am what I do. I am my reputation. I am different from you. Things are missing in my life and I'm separated from you, from consciousness. I am free from the body, mind, intellect and ego identifications. I am consciousness, I am perfection, I am liberated. How beautiful it is this morning. Well, welcome to Mandir and the Mandir that is so natural. That when we want to go a place of pilgrimage, this is a place of pilgrimage. Because what, what is happening here, that we are seeing God in his lowest nature. All of manifestation and these five elements, which is what we are looking at. And this is what we are honoring this morning, these five elements. That we honor them because they are God. And then inside of us we also honor it. God without name and form, a life force in us. How beautiful it is that we are free in this morning. 
you know I feel a different feeling when I come outside versus when I'm inside a building in the Monday because here there's a direct connection and this my path to moksha and liberation is being shown here because when I look at this water you know that this is God when I look at the um, uh, the earth I know it is God because it cannot be any other explanation because they had to come from God they didn't come up here just like that there was a there's a efficient cause and there's a, a material cause the material cause is the five element the efficient cause is the brain power this, that went into it to create this and this is what it is the, uh, our, our consciousness so this morning let us lift ourselves to the lower level to the highest level and then we'll be getting it you know this morning I want to talk about I take so many trips and I went to um, different places because all of the guru going the guru's work mountains and sea there's no barrier to my work that's what Swami Pranavanandaji would have said. And let's show adoration to him this morning. Yana Mulam Guru Murti Puja Mulam Guru Param Mantra Mulam Guru Ravakya Moksha Mulam Guru Kripa Moksha Mulam Guru Kripa You know, when you do meditation to the Guru, when you worship his feet to the Paduka, when you read what he has said, spoken, those wise words, like in the Shangavani, the Ten Divine Messages, what is the goal of life? Self-realization, universal emancipation. What is religion? Self-sacrifice, self-abnegation, self-discipline, adherence to truth and countenance. What is real death, forgetfulness of the self? What is real life, self-possession, self-remembrance, self-consciousness? What are real virtues, heroism, virility, humanliness, and aspiration for emancipation? What are real sins, weakness, fear, cowardice, meanness, and selfishness? What are real sources of strength, patience, fortitude, and endurance? What are real assets, self-confidence, self-reliance, self-respect? What are real enemies, indolence, slumber, inertia, procrastination, lustful senses, and passion? What are real friends? Energy, enthusiasm, and perseverance. Now these are profound statements that when we do the Dhyana Mulam Guru Murti, Puja Mulam Guru, Mantra Mulam Guru Vakyam, Moksha Mulam Guru Kripa. When we do these three things, then what we'll get? When we get our Moksha liberation, because such is the power of a Guru. This morning, like I said, I will go to many places. And when I went to Bali, Indonesia for a conference there, and you come out, as soon as you come out from the airport there, you can feel the vibrations. And as we drove to the hotel we were staying, you could see the, um, you could see the, the statues, the murtis of, of, um, scenes from the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. I love that one when Visha and Pitam were, sit, were lying on a bed of arrow in the intersections. And, and also the scene of, um, of, of the Ramayana also is there. But when we went there and the conference was so dynamic and I enjoyed it so much that, um, you know, uh, I was asked to go back but I had my fill because usually I go one, one time to one place and then I get my fill. Because everything that is happening in our lives is an experience and each experience will lift us up higher and higher and bring us close to our liberation. And Swami Pranavananji is giving us this experience. When I went to Nairobi, Kenya for a conference bringing all African religious leaders together. It was so um, so friendly in, in working with different, different, pe different people of different faith and different traditions. 
but we see all as the same life force so there should be no differentiation and separation you two in your life if we have that feeling of separation and we separate ourselves from each other for whatever reason then moksha is not for us and this is the kind of thing that we have to eradicate from our thinking and because when we were true with that and sitting with these leaders they talk so profoundly and um, I'm thinking wow that uh, they have that spirituality also and then when we went through the safari and to see the animals how they were free and they roam freely and you drive slowly with a vehicle then so many thoughts come to your mind that even the animals they are in their path to evolution the tigers we saw and the giraffes and so other animals they are on their path to evolution and in their pets the dogs and the cats that you have in your homes they are also on their paths to evolution because people will draw companionship from your pets you will draw companionship and you will look and you talk to them like they are their own children and your own friend this is these are things that are reminding us that we are also on the path to evolution you know the best way to evolve is to start to put less attention and importance to this worldly life because it's changing it's constantly it's going to be giving you different information and if you fall and if you really only thing that you have is who is around you and your environment then naturally that's the source of your suffering but when you go to the higher stage and that you know Swami Prabhupada and the ji would have lifted us and the Christ and the Buddha and so Lord Shiva the teachings that they give us then we'll go to the higher place and then what will happen we will be making that separation and then we'll be laughing as we watch back and like a good meditation and exiting going to our atmosphere and space and then consciousness you look back and you say oh my look at these things that i ran after these pleasures and uh, bodily pleasures to accumulate um you know the things that uh, keep you back yesterday i was talking about um what are the gateways to suffering in this lifetime and future life loss greed and anger when we go to that place of consciousness these things disappear and we don't no longer no longer look to accumulate we don't want name and fame in this world because you know it's temporary let us save that in our bank account whatever good we do and don't ask for name and for recognition but let us go to that point where we want to put that in the spiritual bank so this way we'll get that wisdom So this morning is a simple message and let us do some chanting to the, the Lord Shiva Lingam Om Sri Guru Shivaye Nama 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 Om Sri Guru Shivaye Namah Om Sri Guru Shivaye Namah Well I hope you had a good morning short and sweet but profound and spiritual and uh, I leave you with the blessings of all the gods and goddesses especially strong energy we haven't seen Surya Narayan but let's do prayers to him Om Bhur Bhavaswa तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यं भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि यो यो न प्रचोदयत् ओम भुरे भवस्वः तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यं भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि यो यो न प्रचोदयत् वेल हैव अ ब्यूटीफुल डे नाउ एंड वील कैच अप टुमॉरो मॉर्निंग इन द मीन टाइम spend some time in meditation and um, you'll it will take you far away hari om shanti shanti hari om